Good morning, and by morning I mean it's 8 o'clock at night, <laughs> and we are on the wrong side of the state. We're heading over to my buddy Logan's shop. He has a performance shop out here in Knoxville, Tennessee. He actually runs like a real performance shop, like it has trucks coming in and out of it every single day. So when you take your stuff there, it actually gets done in a reasonable time. We haven't done anything done lately. I don't, I don't really know why we're going here. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm going to pick up a truck that I don't even own anymore. Funny story. Remember that truck, Silver Bullet, that we gave away? Uh, oh, it was last giveaway. Yeah, last giveaway. We gave away a truck. It was this beautiful 2016 F350. It was on a nice 14-inch lift. Some 28s, 38s, absolutely beautiful truck. One of the nicest steel bodies around. It broke the internet multiple times. It was amazing. Everybody's favorite steel body Ford, besides Megan the motherfucking stallion. Slight modifications to the motor. Had a big turbo, tuned normal stuff. I really only drove that truck far one time. I, I drove it to Florida. It towed a trailer. Did absolutely flawlessly. The turbo was a little bit big for the stock fuel. Like it took a little bit to spool, but nothing out of the ordinary. Every steel body Ford loves to blow smoke. So I was like, who really cares? During the giveaway, I realized, well, if somebody wants to tow a trailer with this truck, I should probably make the turbo a little bit smaller. So that's a little more useful, you know, because we're getting to the point where I value quality in my giveaway trucks. I want to give away the nicest trucks. Reliability reasons. If you give away newer trucks, less problems usually. I don't want people to be winning my trucks and be having issues. Like I want them to be able to enjoy the experience of owning the truck, tow a trailer with it, daily drive it, take it to shows, do whatever they want, do massive burnouts and not have to worry about something falling apart. David Myers, he's the guy that won the truck. He lives out in Arkansas. He came to pick up the truck a month ago, flew in, planned to drive the truck home, and that was gonna be it. And it went perfect. Like he came, picked him up from the airport, he saw the truck, he was blown away, had such nice things to say about the truck, loved it to death. It's like his dream truck. It was, it was like textbook, perfect giveaway delivery day, as we call them. He came really late, so it was like dark outside whenever he got there and a massive storm rolled in exactly when he was leaving my driveway. So I bought him a hotel room and he stayed the night right down the road from my house. I woke up the next morning to my phone ringing. It was David. He said, hey man, uh, I'm having issues with the truck. And I was like, well, that's terrible. Uh, what's going on? It sounded like a boot was blown off the truck. He said it wasn't making boost and it, it made a weird popping noise when he was driving it down the highway going home. So I, he sent me his location. He was like an hour away from my house. So I was like, no problem. You stay right there. I will come out. I will bring all my tools. I'll fix the boot really quick. Shouldn't be a problem. I've blown many boots before and it will get you on your way. So I met him at a gas station and like the back roads. Surprisingly enough, it was a boot. I fixed the boot real quick, made sure there was no boost leaks anywhere. Me and him both test drove it down the road away from this gas station and everything was fine. Perfect. It built boost normal. It drove like fine. I sent him on his way. It's like five minutes down the road. I'm following him and he calls me again. And he says, it's making a really weird noise. Like it's, it's something else now. So we stopped at O'Reilly's. The truck has always had this ticking noise and I've got it diagnosed from a couple of my buddies that are diesel mechanics and a dealership has diagnosed this as the notorious six seven tick it's uh the typewriter tick that's what everybody says that they all make this noise sometimes when you get an oil change because i just got all the fluids changed everything went through by ford they said that this is normal they'll go away after like 100 miles of driving the truck so i didn't really think of anything of this tick right we get to we pull up to the o'reilly's the tick got worse it was a very very distinct tick now now it's not just like a barely you can barely hear it it was obviously a, a tick more of like a, a knock so i got scared i was like i'm not equipped to fix this truck in a parking lot at o'reilly's nor do i want him to drive it what was it like five hours back home to yeah. arkansas so i said all right there's a hotel down the road. Let's get you another hotel. You can fly back home. I will personally come out. My grandpa was there at the time at my house. I called my grandpa. I said, hey, come grab the truck with the trailer. We're gonna trailer back home. I'm gonna take it to a performance shop and have it actually looked at and diagnosed. Ah, long story short, it, it was uh, definitely not a normal tick. This truck has been here for a little over six weeks now. It, 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 was, it was a hefty, it was a hefty build. We had to fix a lot on this truck. It, to sum it up, the person I bought this from was not uh, very honest with us. Let's put it that way. But we got everything fixed now. I'll go into huge detail of everything that got done to the truck for your entertainment and also so I know exactly what we got. Anyway, 
we have arrived. Let's go look at the truck. I, I love seeing this truck. And uh, let's uh, see what the damage is. He also has a couple of cool trucks. It's not like your normal performance shop. He builds like some of the fastest diesel trucks in the industry right now. I think he has a 3000 plus horsepower third gen with triple turbos and a whole bunch of stuff. So we're gonna see the truck, finish paying my bill that I've been paying on for a month, take home silver bullet so David can come back out, finally take delivery once again of his silver bullet truck. Uh, hopefully David doesn't have any hard feelings that I gave away a truck, but I mean, I did take care of the whole thing, so I'm, I'm trying my best here. We're not all perfect. This isn't sunshine and rainbows, unfortunately. We're dealing with aftermarket, big, lifted diesel trucks. Like, they, they break. That's just an ine inevitable. It's gonna happen, so we just prepare for it. We just roll with the punches. David seems like a very understanding guy. He doesn't seem too mad or anything. Not only did I fix the problems, I also upgraded everything, so he's gonna have one badass truck. For the first time ever, we're actually giving away a truck with a warranty. This is my 2021 Ram 3500 Mega Cab. We call it Papa Smurf. It's leveled on some 26 by 14 American Forces, breadth in 33 inch Venom tires. Inside it's a fully loaded Laramie leather interior with 2500 stars and a big fifth gen screen. It's got color match, 30 rock lights, and so much more. Not only do you get the title and the keys to the truck, you also get $10,000 in cash. All you gotta do to get entered is click the link above or in the description below today. Super simple. And for a limited time, we're doing a times five entry multiplier. That means $25 normally gets you 10 entries, you're gonna be getting 50. So take advantage of that sale and get entered today. And who knows, on March 1st, I might be giving you a call, telling you to come pick up your truck and your cash and your warranty because that's 20,000 miles. It's gonna be insane. Good luck to everybody. Enjoy the rest of the video. Oh, uh, you know Jack Baxter? I do know Jack. Yeah, that's so his this, truck? This is Jack's truck. I'm stealing it. Yeah. I've been trying to buy this. He's got this shorty uh, second gen with yeah. just a dually. Yep, yep. I've been trying to steal the bed off of it for probably like three years <laughs> now, and he refuses to give it to me. So, Jake, I'm stealing your truck. Well, this one in, doing a full head gasket job on it. Uh, oh, all yeah. the suspension's got powdered. It's getting a Damn. 73, 495, five blade. Wow. Up. Everything's going to be illusion pink and black. I hope that's not a secret. We'll have to, I'll verify with him, make sure that nobody knows no, that no, people no, are supposed no, to know the color. No, he's no, actually no, my no. Uh, unofficial, official uh, helicopter helicopter pilot because he's a helicopter pilot so mm. when i buy a helicopter jake's gonna work for me full time and he's gonna take me out to dinner every night one day when we're yeah. not yeah sinking money into silver steel bodies <laughs> <laughs> so you know the guy told you is a new motor right? yeah it was a new unknown condition used motor a new unknown condition used motor yeah. that's the first one i've never heard that yeah. before yeah. that just sounds not new i'm um, sorry <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is this? Two, two big boys. Yep. 85, 114. 85 and one what? A Jesus Christ. Titanium. If your turbo has three digits, you're fast. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. <laughs> what, what are we shooting for this year? I'm uh, trying to crack 3,000 UCC. 3,000? Yeah. yeah. I March. just talked to that dude with the uh, that fucking green dually, like crazy yeah, yeah, one. Chris. He says, well, I'm going to try for 4,000. I said, that's a, too much money. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. 3,000 is ridiculous. I can't yeah. imagine that. Yeah, 3,000. I mean, you're cracking heads every single time you make a pull with that. Yeah, that's not worth it at all. Can you drive this truck on the road? Technically, yes. So we still got water in the head, kept uh -huh. a full-size radiator. I had oil coolers ran out to the back of it mm -hmm. so we could still drive it. I still drove it around town some. That's the only thing I hate about mine i couldn't really drive well i didn't really get to drive it much yeah kind of drove it i think i started that truck six times someone blew it up in the yeah somebody did i don't know some guy at ucc did a massive heater somebody told him to hit lock up that guy and then <laughs> i hi. did hi. and sent it to the moon hey it was fun it was really fun for like 14 seconds and then all my money Poof, goodbye. Anyway, I learned my lesson. Damn. I missed the no interior. It my was favorite thing. Interior. It was full interior. It was full decided, yeah. hey, let's drop the weight and actually try and go fast. We're gonna try and put it in the fours. This actually year. try to go fast. In the fours. Like, yeah. Fours? Yeah. Jesus Christ. It's, it's a comfortable like chip in that truck right there. That shifter is my favorite. I never got my air shifter hooked up, but I imagine that's pretty fun to drive. Can you take me for a ride? I know it's done. Yeah. That'd be it's cool. Gonna it's gonna have a passenger seat. It's gonna have a passenger seat? No shit. We'll race a, a I was, cowboy. I was okay with a bucket on the floor. <laughs> cowboy versus, the, do you see the rear of this truck right now? Those are like legit. I have like two two by fours just welded to my frame and the axle. This is like, <laughs> that's some legit shit right there. Hey, it's gotta be rolling by Thursday evening. Thursday? Like? Under its own power Thursday This Thursday? This week, yeah. Can you send me your drug dealer's phone number? <laughs> There's the whole truck. Just, just chilling. <laughs> oh my god, the shop just keeps going. Oh so my god. Yeah. Okay, honestly, yeah, I forgot what we came here for, but this has to not be here. Loki, that color is beautiful. It's a P pump twenty four belt. It is. Oh so my this truck god. came in, saw the VP, it had a pusher compound set up on it. It's no been shit. here for quite a while now. This is a TJ Aggie's truck. Who did this? Uh, I did all of it. No shit. Yeah. That's cool. I want it. 
hey, a lot. He said, do what you want to do with it, and this is where we're at right now. Yeah, well, tell him you want to give it to Gabe. I actually have a people in 24 valve over at uh, Hazley's performance. Yeah. They've been doing it for like a year and a half now. Yep. That was like four girlfriends ago, so that was a long time ago. <laughs> but one day, I will have a people in 24 valve in something. I don't even know what we're going to put it in. I just started building it. I don't in know. a Lambo. A Lambo? Yeah. It's coming out your paycheck. <laughs> um, never mind. Well, oh, I need that type of yeah. goodies. Another yeah, customer, that. he's doing it for a pull truck here. A pulling truck with a ranch hand. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. It ain't a point. He's gonna freaking. He's gonna pull some cattle around everywhere, and then he's gonna some, take it to the local hay. the local fairgrounds, yeah. and he's just gonna impress all the women. Hey, he won't even drive it himself. He won't drive yep. it. Himself. Not allowed to be out of the shop. Look at that thing. Shh. That's cleaner than the fifth gen I just bought. And silver uh, bullet. Hello. So beautiful. <laughs> you are so awesome and hurting my pockets every <laughs> five seconds. It's like he called me like five times a week, and he's like, "Listen, buddy, I know you're not gonna like this, but." I'm gonna need some more, and we—it just never ended. Oh my god! Like, everything on the cam was pretty trashed. Oh my god! Right there. Jesus. Your main one. Ended up being number six. Six. Uh, so the rocker ended up being broken. I've right seen there. those before. Yeah, I've, I've. Right there's your lifter. Sick. It was actually in the bore sideways. That's where you want it, right? Oh yeah. I think yeah, so. Definitely Something sideways. Like it goes faster. It makes a really cool popping sounds. <laughs> what was the noise that we were hearing the whole time? That. That so, right there. Yeah. The lifter is the noise you were hearing. Because okay. it would bounce up and down. That is why the popping would come and go. So when I first got the truck, there was like this little tick. Yeah. Uh, I took it to a Ford dealership to get the oil change. Yeah. And I was like, what's the ticking noise? And they said, oh, that's a normal 6-7 noise. Yeah. Like it, They just make them and they go away after 100 miles. And I, so I literally didn't think of anything of it. <laughs> I was like, all right, cool. Let's give the truck away. It's ready to go. No, it was not ready <laughs> to go. It was not ready. That is... Yeah, all the push rods been up. But these, I mean, I don't like the design of these. Like, why couldn't they just do one push rod Thanks for Ford. lifter? Yeah. Well, I think so that then if you bend a couple, it really doesn't make a difference. I think that's why they did that. Yeah. So you get extra push rods, I think, maybe. So, <laughs> but, so that's all the damage? Cam, push rods? Cam, push rods, six out of eight injectors failed contribution. Six out of eight injectors, which were supposed to be new. Hey, they were new with that uh, new unverified condition used motor. See, I should, I didn't read the fine print. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. So when we bought this truck, I traded this truck for my, my Mustang. Big, Big turbo. turbo LSX Mustang. Love the car. But I saw this rolling through town and it was for sale. And I was like, if you throw a little bit of cash on top, I'll trade you my Mustang. So we ended up making the deal and he had that booklet in the back and he said, it has a brand new motor. It has brand new injectors. I put a valve body in the trans. Apparently the trans was messed up too. So, you know. Yep. One yeah. through three, all the clutch packs were smoked. Oh my God. So now you've got a good Suncoast in it. Sick. Well, I don't. It's not my well, truck. Yeah. We get to spend the money just to roll it out of the garage yeah. and load up on the trailer. I'm so excited. What was my grand total? Like 32K or something yeah, like that? Yeah, it, it ended up being bad. But anybody says that I don't do anything for your guys' enjoyment, I, I do, actually. I you spend of, money. I take care of everybody very well. Hey, it shows many things that you actually you know, fixed it after it was given away. Well, see, so the problem was he, one, I'm not saying this like there's a warranty. There's no GFP warranty whenever you win my trucks. If you get out of my driveway and it's like, you go down the road and you're doing burnouts to impress some ladies on the side of the road and yeah. you blow it up, I'm not gonna pay for it. But this was a very rare circumstance. He didn't even make it out of the town and it was raining. So there's no way he could have did anything. And I liked the kid a lot. So I felt really bad. Took care of him this time. But any of you guys that win it next time, I'm not giving you 30K. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I might be giving away a couple trucks this year with cash on top just for like tax purposes or whatnot or to help register the truck because they're getting so new. Yeah, I could have just bought a brand new stock one and yeah. just, we could have made 800 horsepower for the same price. Yeah. Or a thousand yeah. or whatnot. I'm just, it doesn't drive that bad. Well, I, you're not used to driving lifted trucks, are you? No. Okay, no. yeah. This is a very, very good driving lifted truck. Yes, it is. A lot of them... Don't drive, yeah, yeah. it's nice. <laughs> Kevin over at PMF, he does a really good job. He's good at measuring. He has yeah. a good measuring tape. He knows how to read numbers, so everything lines up, so it drives nice. The super nice person I bought this off of took the windshield wipers off um, because it looked cleaner and I just never put them back on and I actually completely forgot all the way up to, I don't drive the giveaway truck, so I'd like forget that it's missing windshield wipers. <laughs> and then he's driving home and he's like, hey buddy, windshield wipers, they don't exist. And I was like, <laughs> Fuck, I forgot, my bad. This is kind of a disaster, but we're making up for it. No, all right, so now it's got eight new injectors. They're new injectors from Bosch. Uh, City Diesel got them for us. Ended up getting a new CP4. We like that. Yeah, new head gaskets, new lifters, new push rods, new cam. The whole front end of the engine's resealed. Got a Suncoast Guardian transmission in it. Pricey, but it should shift good. Yes, it does shift good, actually. Nice. A whole lot better. It used to do this thing where, like, uh, you go to drive it, sometimes go into gear, and it got, like, increasingly better during the giveaway, so I was like, like, ah, okay, it's whatever. And then at the end, I was like, it, it's probably a valve body. That's what they recommended I change. So I, I changed the valve body and a whole transmission. So mm -hmm. that's fucking sick. Anything else? That's it. 
think that's about it. Pull her out and cry myself to sleep. No, I'm just kidding. I'm excited to see it outside. I actually missed this thing. David, can I just buy it back? Can I have it back? <laughs> No taking. Sheesh. Not as much as chili, but they look Pretty really good. good. We had to start somewhere. Yeah. You can't just start with 2,500 <laughs> stars. Got your headlights on? I do have my headlights on. Yeah, cow hood plus dark tint. It, it's a fun truck to drive. Oh my God, it's so wide. I'm not driving it too far. Uh, that's for uh, David to enjoy. Get her loaded up and uh, get the heck out of here. I mean, yeah, 32K is a lot of money. To give somebody peace that you yeah, know it won't break. I, if I knew that a giveaway truck out there was having issues and somebody was stuck with it, because I understand like you guys enter to win these trucks and it's super great, like you would love to own them, but you don't want to sign up for a whole bunch of issues. $32,000 like, is a lot for a normal person. $32,000, yeah, imagine if he had to pay the 32 grand. I would feel awful. So I'd rather pay it and I get to sleep good at night knowing that Silver Bull is running around snapping necks and not snapping push rods. Surprisingly, my favorite vehicle here so far has been this. It is basically a four-door R8. That's as that's close as I'm going to compare it to. It's twin-turbo V8, and it would probably gap my R8. Is a Corvette in here? I'm going to go drool over a Corvette. Have you guys seen the video where uh, there's this fifth-gen mega cab doing a four-wheel drive burnout for some reason? It's this one. I don't know how I didn't notice that it was you the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Groms, mega cabs, fast trucks. Transmissions, ZR1. <laughs> Freaks me. Yeah. Bro, it is so nice. I'm going to fall in here. I'm going to sue you. Check them out. Bro. Oh, they are wide as hell from the front. They look so good. When you want bag? A bag to But this, this would be the one. It's for sale. How much? Really? How much? 13 balloons. What do you mean? Look at five. this fucking paint. That's what I'm saying. You, no, no, you paint this color onto a 5G. Oh, you paint a 5G this color. Yeah. Ah, yeah, I see. I was going to say, this is a beautiful ass red. I've been on a blue streak lately, though. Oh, blue streak? Yeah. Does it make loud noises? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I, you know, listen, uh, erase me. Bro, that is so disgusting. <clears throat> that, that makes me want to cry. I would drive it every day in the winter and it'd probably kill me, but that, that's okay. You know, at least I'd, I'd die happy in a Corvette. I remember when I drove in your Corvette and that was like the most, no, it was your Camaro actually. Yeah, my Camaro. Dude, that thing was Yeah, so this nasty. would probably, yeah, you've never been in a C6. They're just like fast for no reason. And my C6 was slow. That's, that's nasty. That is very nasty. They Add it to the list of 2024. We need to end it with a C6 ZR1, preferably that one. If you subscribe, I could buy whatever I want. Paint one bent to black. We paint that. That vent of black? That, that, that would, would be, be crazy. Sick. And then this is the redneck Ferrari. <laughs> it sounds like a rotary. Yeah. <laughs> Why does it sound so nasty? It sounds like your boots are gone. Yeah, it sounds like my boots yeah. What the fuck? We have a gooseneck out there. We, we do, and it has hey, a lot of room. Take a boy when you take these two home. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, cut the video right here. Uh, David, sorry, you're not getting your drink. Yep, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Uber's pretty lit back there. Uh, we are <laughs> at the airport picking up Brian's truck. David Myers, 
the owner of Silver Bullet. Silver Bullet is at our house waiting for him. He just landed as soon as we got here. So we are going to go grab the truck. He's meeting us up by the truck. We're going to drive back to my house. He's going to take delivery once again of Silver Bullet, this time for good. Uh, truck is 100% perfect. It's been sitting in my driveway, not being driven. I started every once in a while to keep the batteries from dying and everything, but it is 100% perfect, ready to go. All I was waiting for is David to come pick it up, drive it back to Arkansas for the first time. I feel bad because he's uh, technically owned this truck for how many months? A month, a little over a month. He's on this truck, hasn't been able to drive it. Now it has a fresh built motor, brand new injectors, built trans, whole nine yards. So it's going to be perfect and he should uh, have zero issues from now on. That's all that matters. David gets a cool truck. Oh my God, how do you fit this in a parking lot? Cold start? Oh, oh, yeah. Let's go find a, oh my God. This is a parking garage. The planes are not supposed to park oh, here. The wrong spot, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Times two. Times two. Feels like deja vu. <laughs> you ready to see your truck Fuck, again? Been, been ready, been ready. <laughs> no, that's, you excited? Been, been ex beyond excited. It sounds amazing now, it runs amazing now. It's like perfect. Glad, last time we thought we had a fuel issue and it just turned into a everything. Fuel. <laughs> well, I'm glad that we actually had the issue because if you would have went home and then realized it had two bent rods, lifters, uh, the transmission was somehow fucked up but still like working. It was almost like a blessing in disguise yeah, that the truck broke a little bit. It would have sucked if it got home and it just like yeah. just cut out. I've been, it would have been devastating. Yes, very. All right, so we're going to go back home, check out the truck, and send David on his jolly way. Where are you going after this? Uh, I'm actually going to hang out in Franklin with Noah. No shit. I yeah. like Noah. He goes to my gym. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to go hang out with him. He's been bu he's been bugging me all week. He's like, man, you coming? I was like, oh, hell yeah, I'm coming. He's like, bro, we got to get videos and pictures. And I was like, I I'll be there, bro. I've done booked my hotel and everything. A little celebrity, huh? I wish. <laughs> Well, there she is. You miss her? Hell yeah. I'm back with it. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab you the keys real quick. I'm excited to see this because that truck runs and drives. I've only driven it up the road and down the driveway. And when we picked it up, I drove it onto the trailer. But the truck drives amazing now. It sounds amazing. Totally different truck. I love it. <laughs> Painting it. Painting. Painting yesterday. Such a flame. Sheesh. This thing on Thursday is gonna look fucking retarded. Hey. They oh, whoa, they whoa, whoa, whoa. They, they know you're gay, Pharaoh. All totaling thirty-two thousand dollars. That's what I paid for my gray one. Yep. And uh, off the lot. Considering, wait, what, what month is it? It's an early Valentine's Day present. Nope. There you go. <laughs> Appreciate it. I would be handing you a title, but it's a delivery part two. Uh, he already has the title. Actually, I think there is a truck registered the, and everything. Uh, I actually have the license plate with me and the registration. No shit. No shit. Hell yeah. So you get to put your brand new license plate on it and uh, drive back to Arkansas. As soon as you, he's going to go through Nashville tonight. I've heard that four doors are for more nice ladies, nice young <laughs> ladies. He's going to figure out how many he can fit back there. <laughs> My record's eight, so you got to beat me. Yeah. You got your plate on? Yeah, I got it on. It's official. Can I show your plate or is that it? Sheesh. Arkansas. Hey, 14. How'd you know it cost $14 million to build this truck? This happens, man. <laughs> this is the last time that Silver Bullet will once again be in my driveway. Well, maybe. You, you can come visit if you want. But for now, goodbye. I'm kind of sad. I might cry. Low key. Again, I've explained multiple times. I, I literally am so in love with the truck. I love everything about it. All right, you better, you better take it before I, I, I take it back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to let you leave with an any level instead or something. See you. Bye. Later. Oh my god. I freaking hate to see her go, but I love to watch her leave. Sheesh.